Thunder Force. Thunder Force, Thunder Force, Thunder Force. It's said in the movie, if you say the name enough, it'll start to grow on you. Thunder Force. Eh, not so much. Uh, Melissa McCarthy, McCarthy, Octavia Spencer, Jason Bateman, and Palm uh, Clontif, who is Mantis in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy uh, series. Uh, this movie was basically the heat. Uh, Bridesmaid, Tammy, Spy. Uh, it was one of those movies, one of her movies, Melissa McCarthy, taken and repackaged as a superhero movie. She plays the same person in every movie. Now you can say every Will Smith movie is Will Smith, but nobody does Will Smith like Will Smith does. You put Will Smith in a movie, you got yourself a Will Smith movie. Unfortunately, with M Melissa McCarthy, if you put her in a movie, you're just going to get a Melissa McCarthy movie. Um, as far as big name superstar comedians go, she's like, meh. And I've never said that before, but I'm going to say it again. Meh. This movie was um, a comedy, superhero movie where somebody took a great big bucket of superhero comedy tropes, dumped it in there, said, let's rehash them, maybe it'll be funny. But let's not try to actually be funny for some reason. I don't know what that was all about. Um, then it was a nervous chemistry between Octavia Spencer and Melissa McCarthy. They weren't really jiving together. They were supposed to be like these crazy best friends who, who were, you know, since middle school or elementary school or whatever school they were in, since they were young, they were best friends, like Ghostbusters. And then one of them makes an invention and the other one just happens to show up, gets involved in that invention, and then they become a team, like Ghostbusters. You know, it was, it was a lot like Ghostbusters, really. Superhero Ghostbusters, man. Um, this is a meteorite that hits the planet. And it gives people superpowers, but only people whose mind works a certain way. So psychotic people, demented people, lunatics, crazy people, villains. So all villains are the only people that have superpowers on the, on the world. So um, Octavia Spencer's mom and pop are like nuclear physicists or something. I don't know, they're real smart people. And they decided they're going to make a way for regular people to have superpowers. And they, they, they almost come up with it, but over the years, she obsesses with it and she decides, you know, I gotta give it my all and figure this out. I gotta cut, you know, Tammy, the spy lady, Melissa McCarthy, I gotta cut her loose so I can concentrate. And she does that and she, I think she owns this great big company, but there's an ex, there's, there's a woman that's working with her that I think may have something to do with what's going on. I'm not really sure. It wasn't 100% clear. I mean, her name was on the building, but they didn't really, 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 really act like she was in charge when the big accident happens. People are looking at her like she was wrong. If I was the boss, you can't look at me like that. So, I don't know. That part, uh, it vexed me. So, of course, you know, McCarthy stumbles into the... If you've seen the trailer, you saw this part. I'm not really giving anything away. Melissa McCarthy stumbles into the room with the the secret super power formula. And she accidentally... Oops, oh, I accidentally stuck myself. And now she's got superpowers that was supposed to go to Octavia Spencer. And she gets a weaker, lamer power. And they decide to become a superhero team. Because movies, right? So now they're superheroes. And they keep, they run into a thing where they're like, oh man, wow, look, we know that this guy that's, that's, that's doing this thing, he's trying to get into the, to the government, is actually a bad guy. But we better not tell anybody. They don't tell anybody. I'd have been like, you know, if I had superpowers and I found out some lunatic was trying to get into government and he was actually a villainous, crazy person, I'd probably call the police. Secret Service. I, it would be in a newspaper. I would tell everybody. They don't tell nobody. The dude even breaks into their building and is like, I'm going to kill you and your family. And they're like, hmm. 
I'm sorry, what? And they just let him go. He just leaves. And I'm like, didn't you, I mean, you got the superpowers now. Why don't I, you're not in a superhero fight? The villain showed up and it's like, you know, come on, let's get some. And you're like, nah, next scene though. And I'm like, why didn't you fight the dude? The dude was right there. That's what you get the powers for so you could fight the dude and take it, take him down. But you, you didn't. And he blew up your house and said he was going to kill you later for some reason. Um, Mantis, Electric Mantis is in this and she's, she's not bad. They didn't give her a lot of, a lot of material to work with, but she's not bad as a villain. She's kind of pale, but she's not bad as a villain. But, you know, it was a comedy. So, um, they fight her. And that's like the big thing, you know, they're going to fight her in the end. But, you know, it turns out that there's a twist. So they're fighting more than one person. And now, you know, it's, it's, it's a tag team, two on two. And everything that you would imagine happens, happens. They're two... Uh, slightly older, slightly uh, thicker women. So their superhero car is a teeny tiny car that they can't really get into. I'm thinking you're a genius billionaire or whatever she's supposed to be. And you came up with a formula to give yourself superhuman abilities. You've got this multi-billion dollar company. All of the doors are sliding and you know, you got all this technology in there. You didn't think to get a car that you could actually fit it. You never got in that car. And she couldn't get in the car. She was like, eh. And of course, it was a joke. And you're supposed to suspend belief. But I'm thinking, that's not believable. You, everything else is taken care of. You didn't think you had to get in that car. And there was like six, car, six cars in the garage when they went down there. Like, let's take the one we won't fit in. This movie was very, very okay. It was extra medium. It was, it was, it was, it was okay. I am going to give Thunder Force five. Five. Because it was a superhero movie. Five bags of popcorn. And that's how I feel about that. Have you seen Thunder Force? After seeing this video, let's talk about it in the comments. And as always, if you like the video, if you like the content, subscribe. And then like. Popcorn passport.